This is Shadow of the Tomb Raider. We're here on Xbox Series S. Be sure to like the video. Subscribing is great as well. So this is the final chapter in the Lara Croft Survivor Trilogy. So an origin story for the character where she attempts to really deal with a growing problem with great foes while also keeping herself together as she becomes a little tougher, a little crazier, and a little bit more driven, as to say. So what are we getting here? It's 900p, 60 FPS. There's HDR support. Is that a capybara? Oh, poor capybara. Poor to capybara. So, <laughs> yeah, this is a, a very, very well done entry in the series. I absolutely loved this game. I thought it was absolutely fantastic. It's well in line with the two games that came before it, which were Tomb Raider, which became Tomb Raider Definitive Edition, and then also, well, Rise of the Tomb Raider, which was the one right before this. And yeah, I think there definitely was an interesting element of challenge, discovery, and, well, basically survival as you went along in this area. This one had a bit of a, a crazed, I, I guess you would say, end of days, or at least end of whatever this area is, sort of story plot line to it. And I just, I really loved what this one had to offer. I like the whole trilogy. I think it's actually well worth playing them all together. I guess you could jump into this one and kind of use it as like your first entry as well. But the payoff of seeing this young woman kind of grow from the, the first, you know, Tomb Raider Definitive Edition to Rise to Shadow is just uh, very, very well done. I, I think they did... Quite an excellent job of developing that sort of thing and yeah I just kind of loved what this game had to offer I thought it was sort of like an ultimate journey where you get to see her just kind of build up and become this powerful character and very confident character and yeah I'm very intrigued to see where things go next because they did obviously set things up to really push things forward. And this game is, is just absolutely stunning. Here on the Series S, uh, like, the bump down to, like, 900p is quite a difference in comparison to what I'm used to in terms of resolution and fidelity for this game. But, you know, it's not the worst, and we do actually get a smooth 60fps, which is... I think kind of what you would desire, especially since this is like, I guess you would call it basically like next gen aware, if that makes sense, but yeah, it's, it's just like a gorgeous uh, adventure through the, the jungle and some areas that kind of look, I guess you would say in design, like Aztec-like temples, and there's a certain level of like increased danger here, but it is that kind of ultimate journey and adventure where we do get to see our hero essentially uh, craft better gear, get better tools, be a lot tougher in regards to enemies. The, the first game you were building yourself up to be a strong character. In the second game you are basically it, it, like becoming more powerful, a little bit more confident in this one. She is not messing around. <laughs> Angry and willing to absolutely remove any sort of opposition in her way, which is awesome. So there's deadly puzzles, crazy challenging tombs, a great emotional main story that has, like I mentioned, a, a great sense of payoff for this character and her journey. And it's just very, very well done. And then there's all this like expansion stuff, like the game has a full selection of DLC content that I thought was really, really quite great. It helps, I want to say, not necessarily pad out the story because that makes it sound bad, but it does help expand upon story concepts, the DLC in this, as you meet uh, more characters and deal with more situations along the way. It is Might be a path underwater. quite an adventure. And then great character performance from the, the actress here with, with Laura Croft as well. And yeah, this... 
this really was a great game. I absolutely love this. I thought this was a perfect ending to the story. The story thus far, of course. I mean, Lara Croft is someone that's always going on crazier adventures. I guess there's a Mayan apocalypse, literally, is what you're trying to deal with. And you go into, like, this largely jungle to drain the room. kind of environment, if that makes sense. Like, you are basically going through this series of jungle areas and then cool temple places. There, there's a lot more to it than meets the eye, but uh, yeah, a lot going on. And then there's like challenge options in the, I guess you would say the main menu as well that you can choose now. Some are like baked into the game and then some are challenge tombs that you can go outside of the game in order to do. And you've got a bit of a like a Lara Croft kind of vision that allows you to be assisted in puzzles and stuff like that. I think I've accidentally dove into basically what is the equivalent of a, uh, a challenge tomb. And I'm trying to see if which way, I think I came up this way, right? I'm trying to see specifically where I'm supposed to be going so that I don't uh, backtrack accidentally. Yeah, this area doesn't look like it's anything promising. But you just go through these different environments and the game actually packs a ton of content. There's collectibles, there's Pin things, there's fun character customization too in regards to like different outfits and you know she's got a lot uh, going on like they, they really do have some fun outfits and as soon as we find a fire again I will be sure to uh, kind of present some of those to you as I do think they've got some really fun designs going on for her character and the way they make this just a seamless journey it's, it's so awesome. You just gain all these more powerful weapons and tools. It does look like there's a raft below the surface. Thanks, Lara. See, you might as well have the game just let you know what's happening. And then you get to fight these crazy, like, creatures and stuff, too. I just love this take on the character in particular because there's such a sense of, like, a more grounded Lara Croft. She seems as if she'd be just a regular, you know, woman dealing with trauma and stuff like that. And, you know, she's been thrown into the shoes of these great adventures, which I think is awesome. Nice, good job there. And you get to do some fantastical, fantastical, just some fantastic exploration and discovery as you go about visiting and gaining new skill points for this expansive skill tree so that you're even more deadly as you take on more foes. A huge inventory selection of, like, different weapons you can upgrade and improve and get new stuff for, like shotguns, uh, machine guns, pistols. Your crazy melee stuff, so you could stab about and everything like that, which is great. And then there's like some all this DLC stuff. But then outfits were a lot of fun. I don't really want to move off the serpent guard because I kind of like that one. But you know, you can have all kinds of things. Her more classic survivor original version. And then there's like there's some really fun ones. Like I have all the DLC stuff, so I got access. Oh, the tactical adventure suit, yeah. And all of her suits, they all have different uh, like things that they do in regards to offerings, and it's just like so many things. Oh, that's her kind of going out on the city thing, but I think there's kind of, yeah, there we go. We got some fun retro ones, Angel of Darkness, Tomb Raider 2, Bomber Jackets, so just, yeah, lots of lots of fun outfits, and they all have their different benefits, and you can get like extra upper body and like lower body stuff too that kind of like adds benefits as well. Tactical Adventure is out, Laura. I, I really do just genuinely love this game. I think it's so well done, and it just allows you to play it in so many ways. To me, it's just a perfect kind of experience, but I always go with the Serpent Guard for whatever reason. I, I don't know why. Nine Strides Harness? Okay, that seems pretty helpful. Oh, that's because I'm just crafting. Okay, my bad. I'm just crafting this stuff. Anyways... Uh, yeah, so that's something, and then you get your equipment, and you can upgrade your equipment stuff. Like, there's, there's lots of complex, like, actually uh, adjusting Lara Croft and improving her. Where are we over here? So this is the base camp with the destroyed bridge and everything like that. I'm just trying to think of where exactly we're kind of headed, because I would like to get back to, like, another area, but I'm at a fire pit, so I don't want to waste that, because I want to show you some of the stress points of the game, too, but I'm kind of sitting here being like... Yeah, there might be something cool to explore here because it's fun for me too when I do these revisits to actually get some like stuff done if that makes sense can we collect this bug yay what I've always wanted 
because I'm like, we can explore and go this way, and there's like uh, survival caches and stuff. Yeah, let's uh, let's keep the journey going. They're never sure what I'm walking into, but usually the fire is a good indicator of like uh, places you can go without having to deal with stuff. I love the setups and the scenes in this game. It's it's just it's so incredible if you've never played, uh, you know, the these games. They're so the good. They're feeding on the corpses. That's great. I don't suppose I can just shoot this wire instead of having to, uh, you know, go into the water and get bitten by piranhas! Why are there dangerous piranhas here? Oh! Hop, Laura, hop! Okay, well, I've got a gun. I think that would be able to help with the stuff. Okay, so we got a wire there on that door. We've got a thing up there that we could kind of do. I, I don't know if uh, I don't know if shooting the piranhas with a gun is the uh, best way to kind of do stuff. Kind of scary. There's all these different like the whole point of this is you're supposed to solve puzzles, and some of the puzzles in this game are actually like really genuinely quite clever and interesting. Like most of them feel pretty intuitive. I remember in Rise of the Tomb Raider, there were some really, really challenging ones. I think this one had some decently challenging puzzles, but yeah, Rise was like a little, little ridiculous for the puzzles you had to do with that one. Can I like shoot this? Have to find a way up. Cause I'm just kind of wondering if I'm supposed to like draw this down or because it's it's been you know if you're wondering if I'm not remembering stuff, it's like been you know, a ridiculous amount of time since I've last played this. And they do all feel in line with each other. Like, I, I do highly recommend going through this whole series literally from the beginning. Like, you're here to take a look at Shadow of the Tomb Raider for, you know, various reasons and whatever, which is totally cool. But I, I really do, if you're, like, been hesitant or anything like that and like the look of this game, it's just all three of them are perfectly in line with each other and offer a really genuinely great experience that you can just have an incredible time playing like this this really is such a visually like cutting edge sort of thing too okay here we go so where are we trying to go with this shouldn't we be moving the water on top of the uh oh we're doing the wave thing because i was like maybe we should get the water moving over there but this makes more sense there we go Level. That's what we're doing, Laura. That's what we're doing. And the more you learn, like the more collectibles you get, the more you're able to like decipher like lost secrets and stuff in these glyphs to learn more about the history of the area and Yeah, this this game really does quite nail it. Okay, I see that we've got a wire here. Are we supposed to attach this wire to that thing over there, or are we supposed to attach this wire to that thing over there? We've got this thing. There's swarms of hungry piranhas that are trying to end our live lives. Now I think we're supposed to attach this thing. Here we go. That makes more sense. So we got the attachment wire. You attach this thing, and then well, we don't want to cut it. We kind of make the wheel go up. So I'm sort of wondering. We actually attach it to that thing. No, that's not allowed. I want that thing at the top, so what we have to do is bring the water back, I guess? If, if that's that sounds crazy, like, I think that should get the wheel moving, and the wheel moving should hypothetically open the door, allowing us to go through, and then we just have to swim where all the piranhas are trying to kill us. Alright, uh, here we go. I got this going. So we need to move this thing slightly over this thing. Don't worry, you only miss me getting eaten by piranhas and miscellaneous other things that were causing problems. So we need to partially open the wheel thing. And not open it all the way, which is a very logical thing to do so that we get to the point that the door opens, but it does not snap the wire. Perfect, right? Gotta keep the pressure at just the right level. It's, it's that simple. I thought there was something more complex to it. There really isn't. Sometimes there is, though. Sometimes the complexity is incredibly high. There's also a bunch of items here I grabbed, but I'm sure you don't care that much about it. You just care about seeing the action of new locations and places and getting a further idea 
of what this Lara Croft adventure has to offer. But it's a great one, it really is. Seriously. I probably, I don't know if I've fully sold it to you, but like, genuinely, I, I think you will be absolutely thrilled by what this this game has to offer gameplay wise action wise an emotional story for this character and I, I really love this interpretation of, of Laura Croft uh, I really do I think the survivor trilogy is just like each of the games is basically perfect don't really have any complaints the upgrades we've seen are great and I'm assuming that at some point this will be a trilogy that they like repackage as a thing that's like one cohesive journey someday but for now, it, it is pretty close in line technology-wise. You do get to see a stark difference between, I guess you would say, uh, the first entry, the second entry, and then now this one. You just get to see this character nice. mature and strengthen and do crazier things and see crazier stuff. And Yeah, I absolutely just love what they've done with this character. And it's kind of a shame it's been so long since we've seen more uh, in action, honestly, it's kind of wild at this point. I'm sure a new one is very, very imminent at the point of doing this particular video showcase, but yeah, I'm just kind of always waiting for more. I love the, the design, the challenge, the world, everything that they've compiled for this game is so great. It really is just quite wondrous. Now, where are we actually headed this time? Yeah, there's grass. This, this is where we... I think this is where we started the tomb, right? This is actually a pretty good like, easy-going kind of challenge to him. That's funny. Is, yeah, is this where the fire is? No, the fire is not here. I think where the fire is. Did we miss, like, a weird blinking envelope somewhere? Like, there's a lot of... Like, you literally have to have, like, a collectibles guide going if you want to actually get everything. <laughs> there's, there's so much of this to, like, discover and come across. I don't really want to fight an eel today, but if I have to, I will eel you up. Oh no. I forgot eels kill you. Stab it, Lara! Lara! Stab it! Stab it, Lara! Stab the eel! Kill the eel! End the eel! Good job, Lara Croft. Can we salvage that eel's body? kind of want the resources off of it. It's another dangerous day of Tomb Raider. Wait, are we actually at the start? Is this the, the fire wasn't over here? The fire was somewhere else. Okay, well, whatever. Are we literally? Yeah, we're we're back to where we. Maybe the fire is this way. I wanted to use the fire so I could show you a completely different uh, part of the world because there's so much to see. It's like, how did I miss the fire? Is the fire room through the other room? The other room? Oh, that's kind of funny. Are we stuck in like this lower area and I have no way to get back up? Usually you can climb and whatnot, but this this really does look gorgeous, honestly. They they nailed this game. It's got such a lovely design and aesthetic to it. This there's just so much to see and do in this game. It's utterly ridiculous. Thanks to craft, build, and rare artifacts and ancient artifacts. I don't have a lockpick. That seems like something I should have. I'm kind of surprised that I don't have the required item for that, considering, you know, I finished the game and I've done numerous side missions and activities, but I guess there's still stuff that's uh, off limits for this uh, intrepid explorer, I suppose. That's a bit of a, a shocker. There's not going to be like a panther that dives out, is there? Sometimes there is. You, you never know when the panthers are going to... Uh, you're out of nowhere and cause problems for you. They sure give you a lot of tools for exploration, though, which I love. I thought the whole point of this was for me to get to a different area, and I've just kind of been, like, locked here showcasing this one part of the game. But that kind of gives you an idea of things. You can really get lost kind of adventuring, too, if you're not too serious and don't have a direction that you need to go to. I mean, mine's pretty easy going because we're just showing things off, but... Yeah, the adventure always builds on and always offers something new to do, which I think is great. Okay, what do we have over this way? And it almost feels like a new adventure just begins. We're just gonna pick up that poor spider. Lovely. Just lovely. I mean, you never know when the spider gets might come in handy for something. I don't know. 
I'm sure she'll have lots to do, but hopefully this sold you at least uh, giving this one a whirl, because it's a blast. Great game. Absolutely great game. Well worth your time.